Hello and welcome to Pay Entry's presentation on the Affordable Care Act. In this video we will cover what the automatic code selection feature is and how it can help simplify your ACA reporting. Before we get started, we want to point out that the information discussed in this presentation is an interpretation of some of the components of the Affordable Care Act. You should confirm this information and how it affects your organization with your legal advisor or ACA expert. Let's start with what exactly is autocode selection. Autocode or automatic code selection is an optional feature in the system. It is a routine that determines a majority of the ACA coverage values for employees based on the settings in the insurance plans. It can help employers complete part two of the 1095 form, the employee offer and coverage section, Plus, it can help complete Part 3, the covered individuals, if the company is self-insured. Before we discuss the steps involved in auto code selection, let's do a quick review of this part of the form. Please note that more detailed information can be found on the irs.gov website. Starting with line 14, this is the offer of coverage. The valid codes are 1A through 1I. Next is line 15, the employee share of the lowest cost of the monthly premium for self-only minimum value coverage. The valid entries are either a dollar amount or a blank. Note that an amount will only appear if the employee is coded 1B, 1C, 1D, or 1E for line 14. Otherwise, this amount will be blank. And line 16, is the applicable section 4980H safe harbor codes. The valid codes are 2A through 2I. Also please note that codes 2E through 2I are not supported and thus must be manually entered. So in addition to completing part 2 the employee offer and coverage section, auto code selection can also help you complete the covered individuals area if you are self-insured. It will automatically read the dependent information from the employee's insurance record. Now that we know what auto code selection is, let's talk about how it works. It takes the employee demographic information such as hire date, term date, etc. and with it it takes a look at the company health plans that are set up with minimum essential coverage and minimum value. It determines if the employee is eligible for this plan and of all the plans the employee is eligible, which one has the lowest cost of the employee only coverage. This information combined will complete the information needed for lines 14 and 15 of the 1095C form. And for line number 16, it takes a look at the employee's insurance tab to see what plan the employee is enrolled in. So in conclusion, automatic code selection helps you complete the information that you need for Part 2, the employee offer and coverage section of the 1095C form, and Part 3, the covered individuals, if you are self-insured. This concludes Pay Entry's presentation on the Affordable Care Act what is automatic code selection?